Hi, this is Bob Rakes from the 8K Association and I'm at uh, SID Display Week in San Jose. Uh, I've just been talking to TSCL CSOT, the Chinese maker of panels that supplies the uh, panels for the TCL TV business. They've got some really interesting panels on display this year. Uh, the first one I looked at was a square panel, which is about 4K by 4K. It's not quite square, it's a 9 by 8 aspect ratio. But they've got a, an intriguing demonstration of splicing two of those together to make a, a much larger display. The problem with splicing LCDs is that you get an area of the bezel where the drivers are, and, and that can be a, a line that you really don't want in the middle of your display. So what they do is use some mini LEDs uh, and some optics to just cover over the area where the bezel is. So there is a bezel underneath there, um, but you can't really see it very easily if you're at enough of a distance. If you get close, you can see it, but it's really pretty impressive. There have been companies doing this for, for the digital spy signage space for some decade or, or more. Uh, early on it was very visible, and gradually it's got less and less visible, but uh, it's pretty impressive. Anyway, that, that opens up the possibility of actually uh, developing really much bigger, uh, bigger TVs. You know, these are up to sort of 145, 150 inch because they're in two parts, which makes transport easier, makes everything easier. Uh, typically, one of the problems with making really large uh, LCDs is to drive them, to, to get the correct voltage to the right part of the panel at the right time. Um, it's not much discussed outside the industry, but it's a big technical challenge. So one of the ways they get around this, because the panel, the overall 145 inch TV is actually very big, uh, is to actually put the drivers down the sides. So the panels are effectively uh, got the drivers, instead of being on the top, they're on either side. So that's an interesting technical, technical solution. Also on their booth is a 65 inch inkjet printed uh, OLED panel for TVs. And that looks really surprisingly good. Now, inkjet uh, OLEDs have been promised for at least 20 years to my knowledge. Two decades ago, people were telling me they were very close to making inkjet printed OLEDs uh, in production. There's still none actually in production, but T TCL CSOT remains very bullish. They're still forecasting that they'll have something by the end of the year in very small volume because they're only using a small production line. But they're still committed to inkjet printing of OLEDs. Um, if they can do it, they believe they can be about 20% cheaper than other ways of making uh, OLED TVs. So that could be quite an interesting development, and they're happy to show it in 8K, which is nice. TCL CSOT also have um, a TV panel which they're calling the first TV panel uh, to be able to meet the EU's Class A energy level. Uh, they increase the aperture ratio from typically 4 to 5% uh, up to about 7.5% uh, on this. Now, uh, the aperture ratio, which is the area of the panel uh, which transmits the light from the back light to the front on an LCD, um, is a critical factor in power consumption. So it's really good to see them addressing the power consumption, which can be a challenge on 8K displays. TCL CSOT also have a new version of their 57 inch curved uh, panel, the one they currently supply to Samsung for gaming monitors. The new one goes up to 1000 Hz, which is impressive performance indeed. Bob Rakes for the AK Association at Display Week 2025.